Uh, now we hear from Hussein Abbas, professor at UNSW Canberra, founding editor-in-chief of the IEEE Transactions and Artificial Intelligence, and former executive director of the Defense and Security Applications Research Centre. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Professor Hussein Abbas. Sorry, my computer decided to go to sleep just when I came here. But as a computer scientist, there's always a backup. So, good morning. Um, in the next 10 minutes, I will be sharing with you nine lessons that I have learned in my life. Um, and I hope that I will manage to get through all of them quickly. Uh, 16 of May 2006, uh, I was fortunate to be the executive director for the Defense and Security Application Research Center. Uh, we had a meeting, a gathering like that in Canberra, and uh, I hosted the, the vice chief of the Defense Force, uh, General Gillespie. And one thing that we've learned from this experience is that events like the one that we are having today, they just demonstrate the social commitment of the university and the academics to create impact for the society. It's an opportunity for partnership, and it's a, an opportunity to start new impactful research. So let me share with you two of these pieces of impact that we have created. 2006, we developed a digital twin for air traffic management. Uh, this digital twin, uh, we could evaluate any future scenario in air traffic management that you can imagine, but we could not say how today look like. We could not answer this question. So we spent two years just doing data entry, digitizing the aerospace. It was the most boring job technologists, computer scientists, engineers could do in their life. But it has to be done. And it has to be done to generate the impact. It taught us that 80% of impact could be boring, but look for the other 20%. That's what keeps us going, and if you can maintain it, you will get there. October 2008, October 2008, the system was up and running, monitoring and assessing every aircraft that enters Australian aerospace. Uh, you name it, pollution, five pollutants, safety and security, to the workload on the air traffic controller on the ground. Just to give you an idea, in 2010, two years after our system was working in, in real time, the UK NAT, which is the Civil Aviation Authority in the United Kingdom, published a study that used 12 months of data. It took them another 12 months to do the study, and it costed them 10 million British pound when we were doing it in Australia in real time for two years, costing us a few dollars running our machine. Our innovation saw algorithms for real-time trajectory optimization, uh, dynamic reconfiguration of the aerospace, predictive analytics for risk assessment, signal processing and machine learning for assessing human performance, and many more. But there was a special event in 2013. 2013, I flew with my team to France. We wanted to run the first experiment of its, of its type we wanted to connect the human brain to a safety critical system, and we successfully did. Um, we looked at how human brain signals can influence and shape automation in real time safety critical system. We have learned that the boring work that we spent much earlier gave our system life. 
it gave it meaning. Spending a sabbatical in Singapore in 2014 gave me the opportunity to write a book on one of our innovation, computational red teaming, or the use of artificial intelligence for vulnerability analysis, autonomous identification of vulnerabilities in system um, using AI. The year the book was published, organizations started to pay attention to red teaming in the cyberspace. This book was the Bible, the only Bible available on computational red teaming at the time. Little did I know that what I did 10 years ago became the fashion. The experience repeated itself many times in my life, including a book on the foundation of trusted autonomy. This one was an edited book with colleagues from the Defense Science and Technology Group. Once more, this book, when it, pub when it was published, I did not expect much. Within six months, it was one of the top 10 most downloadable books in Springer, and to date, in the last four years, it was downloaded 220,000 times. I have learned that it's never too late to publish. Now I will move from applied science to basic science. Uh, we've been uh, moving from the industry-driven projects to basic science. In 2017, I had a single undergraduate student working on sheepdogs. What we wanted to understand is the concept of influence. What does it mean on a very fundamental mathematical level and how we can model it? We've been designing algorithms and the team guru. The team guru to faulty plus scientists within UNSW and external collaboration designing algorithms, formation planning of multi-robot systems, communication protocols, where the packets that you are transferring are neural networks that we can convert into English sentences back and forth as we please. Real-time algorithms for guidance and predictive analytics for swarm in GBS denied environment, social influence modeling, information warfare, and trust in human AI ecosystem. In this experience, we've learned that basic science are, is not solutions waiting for problem. Basic science is opportunities waiting for investors who have the eye to see the markets of the future. The slide was faster than me. We've always been on the look for to bring Australian culture into our technology. Uh, in 2021, uh, we encountered a beautiful Australian original language called Jingulu. It has a very unique syntactical structure that matched the mathematics in our guidance and control system. And that allowed us to design a fully interoperable mathematical system that is linking all layers in human AI teaming for whom the human AI communication layer all the way down to the control and guidance layer. Now I will conclude and I would like to leave you today with a single take home message. I am no one, nobody without the people who've been working with me. They have been extremely honorable they have been extremely clever, they have been supportive, they have been the leaders of all the achievements that we've done. You will forget my speech, you will forget me, but there's one thing that I hope by the end of today that you will keep it in your mind. AI is nothing without people, AI is people. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, Professor. A nice finish. Uh, I have to say, I have to say, you're giving hope to students everywhere in the world by telling them that no matter how boring the task, it ultimately does deliver something. So there you go.